believe the gallery is clear, so let's go ahead and call, I will call Patrick Batillo to the podium, please. And Ms. Holgate will call you up next. Good morning, sir. May I have your name and date of birth? Good morning, Patrick Batillo, 121586. Thank you. Mr. Tamau, are you representing Mr. Batillo today? Yes, Your Honor. Michael Tamu on behalf of Patrick Batillo, who's in custody of before. Thank you. And Ms. Paris Candola? Barbara Paris Candola for the state, Your Honor. Thank you. And so, sir, we're here today on a Superior Court new case. You were arrested on allegations of one count of child sex trafficking, a Class 2 felony, and one count of luring a minor for sexual exploitation, a Class 3 felony. Before I proceed forward with any probable cause findings, Mr. Tamau, did you want to be heard? I, sorry, I need you to verbally to say something, sir, because we have a recording. Your Honor, I apologize. I was on mute. Uh, no, okay. No, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. So I will find probable cause today. Um, Mr. Timau, I saw that your notice of appearance is, is a limited notice of appearance for today's purposes. Are you representing Mr. Batillo going forward? Your Honor, there's no secured agreement. Uh, we will be talking to the family after this hearing. Okay. So, sir, what I'll go ahead and do is I will appoint you an attorney to represent you moving forward. If you do retain uh, your attorney who's on the line today, that's fine. He can file a notice of appearance, but I don't want you to be without an attorney at the next hearing. So I will appoint the public defender's office today to represent you. If they're not needed, that's fine. Um, I am going to set a status conference on April 16th at 8.30 a.m. in the downtown Superior Court and a preliminary hearing on April 18th at 8.30 in the same location. Uh, Ms. Paris Condola, did you have any recommendations in terms of release today? Yes, Your Honor. The recommendation is for a $100,000 secured appearance bond, um, not to have any contact with the victims, uh, don't return to the incident location, also electronic monitoring based on the nature of the charges. Um, this is based on, again, the, the nature of the charges, uh, the very strong weight of evidence in the PC addendum, and that the defendant wasn't in a position of trust and authority to the victims. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. paris -Kindola. Mr. Tamau, any response? Yes, Your Honor. We'll be requesting that he be released to pre-trial services with ankle monitoring. Um, he's been a resident of Arizona for the past 20 years. He has a stable environment uh, and home where there are where there will be no minors or children involved. Um, in addition, essentially, he has a local support system with his family who already notified me that they'd be more than willing to take him in. He works from home. He has secured employment where he wouldn't be essentially out and about without, you know, approval from pretrial services. He has no prior criminal history at all. So for those reasons, Your Honor, we're requesting that he be released to pretrial services uh, with ankle monitoring. Thank you, Mr. Schmel. Uh, and so, sir, when I, when I do consider release conditions and bond amounts, there are several factors that I have to consider in terms of, of setting a bond. So safety to the community, your likelihood to, to actually appear in court. There's a list of other, of other issues as well that I have to consider. Um, I did consider the fact that you don't have a, any type of criminal history. I did consider some of the arguments of your attorney today. However, I am concerned about some of the facts and statements, uh, especially with the minors that you allegedly had contact with that I reviewed uh, for probable cause today. I am going to issue a secured appearance bond in the amount of $100,000. Um, that is secured, meaning you can use a bonding company. Uh, if you do post bond, I will order that pretrial services supervises you in the community, and I'm going to order that they install an electronic monitor on you prior to your release. As a part of your release, I'm also ordering that you may, may not return to the scene of the alleged crime, that you're not to have any contact with any victims, complaints, or witnesses, not to have any contact with any illicit co-defendant. I am ordering that you not have any contact with any minors, that you're prohibited from accessing the internet through any electronic means except for work, school, or consulting with legal counsel. I am going to order that you not possess any drugs without a valid prescription and no driving without a valid driver's license. I will provide you with a complete copy of all this in writing going forward. Um, that is going to be the conclusion of my release conditions today. Uh, is there any other issues that Mr. Tamau or Ms. paris Candola wanted to bring up today? No, not from the state, Your Honor. And Mr. Tamau, you're, you're, uh, you shook your head. You're on mute again, but I assume that that was a no. None from the defense, Your Honor. I apologize. Okay, not from. Um, so we'll make sure to provide a copy of your release conditions here. You'll have access to the bail companies back in holding if you choose to go with that route. You should also have access to get a hold of your attorney back there as well. Do you have any questions? 
No, sir. Okay. So we'll provide you with a copy of that and grab that and go ahead and take a seat, okay? So that does conclude that matter, Mr. Tamau and Ms. Paris if you want to disconnect, feel free. Thank you.